Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Stiver's Homestead. We got a busy day today. Yes, we do. So Jen and Raylan are going to <laughs> sell some do? tomato plants. And what? And and some lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah. So they're gonna set up a little shop. Um, we've had some people come to our greenhouse and buy some tomato plants, but we're just gonna go down and try to see if we can get some uh, traffic from the road. And uh, Raylan wants to really sell some lemonade, so it'll be a fun little day for them. All right, wish us luck. Hey right, y'all, what a fun day today was. Man, Super it, fun. it was a blast. I, you know, it's great to sell some plants and make a little bit of money, but it's almost more fun just getting to talk to everyone, getting to hear their stories and different things. And man, it's just enjoyable to get to talk to other like people, you know. That's why we all like this YouTube community, because we can all discuss different topics that we're all interested in, but that real uh, in-person connection is something that's a lot of fun. I got to tell a lot of people what the Lufa gourds were and explain yeah. those, and they were excited about it. So we met someone that is has grown before, so that's yeah. really cool. You know, just kind of neat. You don't think here locally that you have a lot of people that are out there a little bit further than just you know your tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers, but a lot of people are. You know, it's yeah. pretty cool. We ended up. Um, we started at down the hill at my mother-in-law's house mm -hmm. at the driveway. And then we ended up going up to the gas station because there was quite a bit more traffic up there. So we had a little bit more success up there and that was fun. We got to hang out with a few people we knew and yep. some people stopped by and say hey and it was just a really good time. They were excited to see our plants and everyone you know, loved how healthy they looked and loved hearing about the greenhouse and all that stuff. So that was pretty neat. Yeah, and yesterday, so I had, I had put it out just on Facebook Marketplace too that we were selling some plants to a guy he came out here to our place uh, yesterday, and uh, when he's here, he's like, is this the old Armstrong place? And y'all have heard me talk about my great-grandfather. If you haven't, um, this was all his land. It was cattle and tobacco farming. Um, but uh, basically, he gave it all to his kids, which one is my grandma, um, who then gave it to their kids. So we're all scattered across about 60 acres here. Um, and it was just really neat to make that connection that someone still remembers my great grandfather's farm and you know now we're here so that little piece is like what in my mind is why we're one of the pieces while we're doing this is to you know kind of continue his legacy like this is the armstrong place and you know now it's the stivers place but it's still uh within his legacy and so that was really special to hear that from him um just for him to make that connection and everything so that was really cool yeah so um i know a lot of y'all probably have but if you have grown extra plants and you're looking for something to do with them or whether you donate or whatever. Um, it's a, just a lot of fun to set up locally and sell your plants to your friends and neighbor, neighbors. So if y'all haven't thought about doing that or if you've been thinking about it but haven't done it yet, uh, maybe try it. Challenge yourself and get out there and just spend a day doing it. Even if you don't make any money, it's just it's a good time to mm -hmm. connect with people in your local community. Yep. And I mean, we ended up selling about what 25 mm -hmm. 30 plants probably that, a whole flat yeah a whole flat of tomatoes today so that was really cool yeah um we didn't sell any of the cucumbers and different stuff like that but we sold let me show you all these yeah. well we still got the ones but I mean, we got some real solid tomato starch going on here yeah uh, they need to be a little trim but they're really looking good so a lot of people that attracted them to them i mean you know just 
this greenhouse just pumps them out. So if you're sitting at home and you're watching this and you're like, man, I would love to sell some plants. Make your little mini greenhouse, the in-home starts, all that stuff that's gonna sell. Uh, you know, just try to make sure they're hardened off to when someone takes it home, they're not just gonna kill it when it put, gets put in the ground, but it's awesome. Make a little weekend money, yeah. have a little fun doing it. Sit down at the end of your driveway and just have a good day doing it. You know, we got yep. the kids involved. Raylan made lemonade for everyone and yeah. everybody loved her free lemonade and Wyatt was excited to sell some plants too and get some lemonade out to people. So it was just a good family time. Yeah, they made a made a couple tips off yeah. their lemonade, so they were super pumped about that. However, the things they want, they think only cost a dollar. <laughs> uh, it doesn't. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. I, I love seeing their excitement. Um, it's one of those things you're already starting to kind of show them you got to work for your money. So um, I enjoy that. I enjoy them having that in their mindset that money do, doesn't just come to them. You have to do something to earn it, uh, which is what we strive to, for them to know. So, you know, it was a it was a great day. Um, we didn't work a whole lot. No, just mainly hanging out. <laughs> yeah, getting to know our community better. You know, that's one of the one of the most fun parts about it is just getting to know more people in your area and having fun. And I don't know. This is really neat. It was. Well, Especially fine. maybe we'll do it again maybe Sunday or something. Yeah. We gotta get this we gotta get our own plants yeah. in the ground. So tonight, this weekend, we got lows that are gonna drop down to the low forties. So we're not gonna go throw them out there just yet, but we still got work to do to get everything ready. Um tomorrow I will be uh fit, hopefully getting our tilled garden bed ready for uh to be planted in because we're gonna plant Monday. So be ready for that. That'll be coming tomorrow. So uh That'll be a fun one because I'm kind of mixing no-till and till gardens together. And then Sunday, we got the Kings coming over, I believe. Yeah. That are gonna bring us some uh, some bee boxes. We won't make that one a surprise for you. We're not getting bees just yet, but he uh, is giving us, uh, just graciously out of their hearts, um, some our setup for bees. So when we are ready, we'll have everything yeah. besides our suits. So we'll be, we'll be sure and get that. On um, video too, so y'all can see all that. They're great people. Yeah, very great people. They're uh, I think they're thinking about getting their own YouTube started, yeah. so that's pretty cool too. We met them at uh, our seed spot, so that was really neat. Yeah. Uh, man, y'all, uh, I think we're just gonna sit back, relax. Jen's gonna count her money, <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna have a good night. So I hope you all do the same. Y'all have a great weekend. Y'all hit them guineas. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.